The more hits we play, the more hits we get. URLradio.net. Stacey Sturm. And in the studio with me today, I have Mary Jo Van Horn. How's it going today, ma'am? Hi, Stacey. It's going well. Thank you. Now, you're in the studio because you have started something really exciting that I was talking with you about the other day. Um, tell us a little bit about the, pro- the new programs that you have going on. Sure. I'd love to. And it, it is a, a accumulation of all of the uh, investments I've made in myself and learning mm-hmm. about myself and, and all of the, the coaching that I have invested in, um, the seminars I've attended, um, and what I've come away with and created is I call it the secret university. Yeah. And it's based on the movie or the book, yeah. The Secret, right? And within the first five minutes of the movie, they reveal that the secret to be, do, have, whatever you want in life yeah. is the law of attraction. Yes. Because you and I were talking, the law of attraction, it's actually very simple. And a lot of people, I, th- I think when they, when they hear about this, it's very foreign to them. Mm-hmm. Um, but as they hear more about it, it kind of makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us about the law of attraction and how this all works. Okay. Well, so essentially the law of attraction is like attracts like. Yes. Right? Yeah. And so it is always working. Yes. I mean, a lot of people like, oh, I've tried the law of attraction. It doesn't work for me. I didn't get what I wanted, so it doesn't work for me. Yeah. But the thing is, it's always working. It's, it is science. You know, uh, mm-hmm. like attracts like. Everything is energy at its purest form. Mm-hmm. And so everything has a frequency. And just like, you know, you dial up a frequency on the radio station. Yep. You know, you're going to get one station, you know, per frequency, but it will always match up. Yes. Okay. So it's the same with um, our thoughts and our emotions. So whatever we are thinking, whether it's what we want or we don't want, we are attracting yeah. more of that. And what I always say is that we are attracting um, in the form of people, circumstances, and opportunities that support what we're thinking. Yeah. Right? So, so we bring people into our lives that support exactly what it is that we think. So if we're sitting here all the time thinking, I, um, it doesn't matter who I go out with, I always date miserable men. Mm-hmm you're going to keep dating miserable men. Uh, If you say, I've been the luckiest person in the world. I've had amazing dates that I've been on. Everybody's been awesome. You're going to continue to have that. Yes. Yeah. You're manifesting it. You're bringing in in exactly what you think you're bringing in. Yes. But a lot of people don't even realize what they're bringing into their lives, Mary Jo. Absolutely, because they don't even realize the thoughts they think. Yeah, that's true. And, it, and it's almost, it, well, it's not almost, it is impossible because the studies show the average adult person thinks 60, 60, 60,000 thoughts in a 24 hour period. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. It's a lot. And, a and, lot. and most of I mean, those... that's on average. There are people who think a lot less thoughts, <laughs> if you know what I mean, but. <laughs> but the, the thing is that most of those thoughts we are, unaware of that we're thinking and most of them are about us yeah uh, they are about ourselves and they're not true that's true right those are those those thoughts that you know we picked up from childhood mm-hmm. you know from experiences that didn't feel good that then we created you know a reason for it in that well this bad thing happened to me it must be because i'm not good enough or i'm not smart enough or i'm not pretty enough yeah right yeah. Yeah. And then it just kind of, that just becomes our way of thinking and we're, we're not even aware of it. Yeah. And it just stays It becomes with us. our reality. Yeah. We have yeah. these limiting thoughts that become our reality. Yep. Yeah. And that's the key um, to making the secret yeah. work is actually knowing what thoughts you're thinking. Right. You know, becoming aware of, of the thoughts. I think money is a huge Bar- like uh, our barrier to money, I think a lot of it is thoughts. And I think because you grow up yeah. and you get that so ingrained in your head, oh, like absolutely. I'm poor, we're poor, we're poor. Yeah, we're never going to have enough that. money. We can't afford yeah. that. We can't. Money doesn't grow on trees. You yeah, know. exactly. Yeah. So parents are passing that along to their kids yeah. and not even realizing it. Exactly. It yeah. comes from a good place because they think, you know, they are, you know, creating the reality for us that, you mm-hmm. know, money just doesn't show up. Yeah. But the, 
the true reality is that it's there's always more than enough. Yeah. It's always right in front of us. But when we focus on what we don't have or what we can't have, then we we block ourselves from seeing what we do want that's right in front of us. Right. We mess ourselves up. We self sabotage ourselves often. Yes. And and that's the that's exactly what those you know, I, I call them those limiting beliefs that we carry about ourselves mm-hmm. that we just are subconsciously thinking most of that 24 hour period. Um, that's exactly when we carry those thoughts, our actions will always line up with what we believe to be true for us. Mm-hmm. And so when we carry those untrue thoughts that we're in some way, not enough, yeah, you know, or that there's not enough to go around, mm-hmm. then our actions will always or eventually line up with that. Yeah. And that's, and that results in self-sabotage. Now, a lot of this is not the work of the devil. This is yeah. like, a lot of people think this is new agey and it's the work of the devil, but it's actually not. It's this, not. It, this is, it this goes is a, back. It's a work of ourselves kind yeah. of. Yes. And it is science. Yeah. Like attracts like mm-hmm. that. That is science. It's true. Yeah. So your program, you're going to help people kind of realize this, pick up on this, and then implement this right in this new university that you're doing. Yes, it's it's actually a four step formula. So the first step is actually working one on one with me mm-hmm. virtually, and that is the the first most critical step. And that's where I'll reveal to you your limiting beliefs yeah. that you're carrying. So you can become aware of them. So then you can then change them because you can't change what you're unaware of. True. Right. That's yep. why we get so stuck mm-hmm. because we're just unaware of what really needs to be changed within us. Yeah. So that's the first step is becoming aware of those untrue thoughts you're thinking about yourself. And then step two is um, releasing those beliefs. Mm-hmm. Right. So you can bring in and free up space and energy. Yes. What's true for you. And then step three is creating your uh, divine plan. So whether it's just your life overall or a very specific issue. And that is about what you want. If you could have it any way you wanted mm-hmm. what you want to feel. So the emotions you want to have about that. Yeah. Right. And, and the, your, your thoughts influence your emotions. So there again, it goes back to your thoughts. It's true. So, mm-hmm. uh, and, and this is really interesting because this is where most people get, get stuck mm-hmm. and they draw a blank. Well, what do you mean? What do I want? And it's like, you know, cause for so they many They don't feel of like us, they can pick. Right. It's, it's yeah. just, it's a foreign concept yeah. to actually put what you truly want as your very first filter. Yeah. For people who grew up learning to people please like I did. Yeah. Oh my goodness. My, my filter was always, okay, what does that person want? And then how do I make my decisions fit that? Right. Yeah. And then that's where resentment comes from. Yeah. Yeah. And, and frustration. Yeah. And, and betrayal. Yeah. We betray ourselves by being a people pleaser. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. We compromise ourselves all the time. Yes. Yes. I just had a talk uh, yesterday to uh, a group of about a hundred or so uh, middle and high school teachers from across the state. And I shared this formula. When I came to this step, the topic was specifically on creating uh, peace and harmony within the classroom. Mm -hmm. And when I asked, what thoughts do you want to think as it relates to a classroom of peace and harmony? It was crickets. Yeah. What emotions do you want to feel? Again, it was like, uh, <laughs> right? Because they're, yeah. they're so used to focusing on the problem, what they yeah. don't want. It's true. Right? They're, they're so focused on the classroom is disruptive. Right? That's, That's true. the big issue. That's the, the, the big issue for teachers nowadays is that they are so full of stress because the classroom has become so disruptive mm-hmm. and they just don't know what to do about it. That's amazing. It is. That they can, thinking they can just switch that. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. A gift. Yes. So step three is really allowing yourself to think the thoughts you really, truly want to think. And then those emotions that support that. And then what's step four? Step four is my absolute favorite. Yeah. Step four is, is using the power of intention and priority actions to bring your plan mm-hmm. into your reality. 
And for me, intention um, is, most people will think intention of, you know, I intend to, to do this thing and I'm going to do it no matter what and nobody's going to stop me. Yeah. And I'm just going to push through and barrel yeah. through and I'm <laughs> yes. going to do it, right? Yes. My definition of intention <laughs> is from Dr. Wayne Dyer, where intention is an invisible force of energy that is a direct connect to your higher power. Hmm. And so when you set the intention for me and what I teach is that you are connecting directly to your higher power, yeah. whether that feels like it goes up or whether that feels like it goes within and whatever you call your higher power is fine. Yeah. You know, uh, I use interchangeably. It could be God, it could be Buddha, it could yeah, be whatever the universe, it is. Source, the universe, you whatever can call it, is. it yeah. the mothership. Yeah. Right. It's whatever. totally up to you. Yeah. Yes. And so when you set intentions through what I teach is you are connecting directly to source mm -hmm. and you're giving that, sending that intention to, to, to your higher power and then knowing that it is received and then coming back to you in the form of people, circumstances and opportunities mm -hmm. that support that. I, I like to tell people to envision the, um, the bank tube when you go to a drive-up yeah. bank. And you put your stuff and in the it tube, in the it always goes yeah. into the bank and it always comes back down. That's true. It's the same way when you set an intention with your higher power, it will always go to your higher power and it will always come back down to you. But then you have to be open right. to the people, opportunities and circumstances that support that. And, and we just talked about this right before yep. we went on the air without getting attached yes. to the how, to how it has to show up or who it has to come mm -hmm. from. Because that in, it, in itself will block us. It's true. Because then when it doesn't come the way you think it should, then you give up. Yeah. Then you think this doesn't work, and then you fall right back into those limiting beliefs. So Mary Jo, if people want to get a hold of you and find out more about, um, about your whole new program, um, how can they get a hold of you? The best way to, to learn more about The Secret University is mm -hmm. to go to thesecretuniversity.us. Okay. And for the month of university. August, enrollment is uh, half price. Yay. And it's one low month or one low payment, and it is lifetime access. Half price enrollment. Yeah. So the first step is a one on one with me virtually. Steps two, three, and four are recorded videos within the uh, on a uh, members only website page. Mm -hmm. And then there's monthly QA calls that I will host live every month to get more support, to get your questions answered, to share your comments, your breakthroughs. Awesome. So the secret US. US. Yes. Awesome. So half off enrollment if they take advantage of this in August.